Hey, Tyler, um, just sort of the feeling of getting back on the ice. How did it go for you today? And, and sort of how, how had you felt uh, with your little bout with COVID? Yeah, it always feels good to be back. Um, you know, similar feeling coming back from a break versus an isolation period, I guess. Um, you know, this time around, it was was fairly different. Um, more of a mild cold, uh, sore throat, dry throat, cough uh, type deal for a few days. And then about halfway through the isolation, I started to feel better. Um, but it's always good to be back on the ice, uh, get this thing back rolling again. Hopefully we don't have too many more delays. And uh, I just noticed you had posted a, a message about sort of anxiety and, and mental health over Christmas here. It was, what was sort of your motivation behind that? What, you know, what are things we maybe need to be thinking about in that context? Well, just trying to, to keep the conversation going, really. Um, you know, mental health doesn't have a, a seasonal view. Um, you know, it affects people all year round and it affects different people in different ways, especially around the holiday season. Um, you know, for me this year, it was uh, a solo Christmas, a digital Christmas, uh, which isn't the ideal situation, but you find ways to make it work. And I just thought it was an opportunity to, to let people out there who are struggling right now to, you know, to know they're not alone in it. And, you know, there's ways to, to help each other. Next is Rob Simpson, Vancouver Hockey Now. Hey, Tyler, is it fair to say that the, the enthusiasm is palpable? Like, can you kind of describe maybe the anxiousness of wanting to get this six-game winning streak, try to keep it going? Like, guys are pretty jacked? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, when you're winning, you want to just keep playing. Uh, you'd love to play every day if you could. Um, obviously, an unfortunate pause, um, obviously, with Christmas, but also with, uh, with the COVID situation. Um, but yeah, I think the guys are excited to get this thing rolling. And hopefully, as I said, we can continue without any more uh, disruptions. Uh, Bruce was hoping to chat with everybody at some point and get to know him and kind of run through things. Have you had that kind of opportunity to do a one-on-one -on -one and how have you acclimated to his systems and such? Yeah, I haven't had the opportunity to do that yet. Um, I know he said he's making the rounds, um, you know, with, with travel and with, uh, you know, the COVID and the situation, precautions and protocols. I don't know if he's, he's got around everybody yet, but you know, I look forward to that opportunity to chat with him um, and continue to get accustomed to the system. I know it's not an overnight process for anybody. We're taking it step by step. We're implementing things uh, every day. And, you know, that's all we can do is continue to, to get better and continue to play the way he wants us to play. And do we have any last questions before we wrap with Tyler Mott here? We have a couple more popping up now. We'll go to Kevin Woodley, NHL.com. Hey, let's just out of curiosity, we haven't had a chance to talk to you. What, what do you see as the biggest changes in those systems and what differences in what you're being asked to do as a team as opposed to before Bruce came on? Um, you know, structurally, it's similar, um, maybe a different mentality with it. Um, I think a big thing with Bruce is he wants us to be aggressive. He wants to play with, with pace and continue to, to kind of force the issue. Um, obviously, you've seen it on the maybe the special team side a little bit more than structurally, but uh, you know, there's a lot of details, some little tweaks. But um, you know, with him, if we're going to make mistakes, we want to make mistakes going uh, 100 miles an hour. And just to follow up on the COVID, uh, because it's been so different this time, where are you at in terms of the way the league is handling things and shutting things down compared to how other leagues have done things? We've heard some players, Steve Eiserman probably most notably, talk about maybe not testing asymptomatic players. Where's the mindset when it comes to that? And I guess the second part, to be fair up front, is it tempered at all when you see a guy like Brandon Sutter still struggling to come back from the original? Uh, well, a lot of pieces there, but, um, you know, it, it is frustrating. Um, I think a lot of people thought we were on the way out of this and, and you kind of get hit with it again. Um, you know, although some are taking a different approach uh, with with maybe more mild symptoms um, and seemingly most people. But, you know, I'll, I'll let the doctors in the league, you know, speak on the protocols. Um, you know, I, I'm not qualified or educated to to make a heavy statement on that. I just know, you know, the guys in the room and from what I've heard across the league, guys want to find a way to play as many games as we can. Um, if that means playing down a few guys, if that means, you know, working with protocols to get more bodies in here, whatever it may be, um, you know, we're committed to playing and that's all we want to do is get back to doing that. And our last question for Tyler Mott comes from Farhan Lalji, TSN. Tyler, for you personally, um, how much more frustrating was the COVID break given that you were delayed starting the season because of an injury? And are you hoping now that this is kind of all behind you that maybe you can kind of get a bit of a run and a string of games going? 
Yeah, for sure. Uh, well, no one wants to get injured. Uh, no one wants to miss time because of an injury, especially after such a long recovery. And then, you know, getting hit with COVID again. You know, if, if I was going to get it, I, I'm glad I, I didn't miss much, much action here. Obviously, time off doesn't help. Uh, get some practices in and, and get some skates in and get my legs back under me. And hopefully, you know, again, like you said, put it all behind us and just continue to get this thing rolling. For you personally, are you, is it hard to prepare not knowing exactly what you're going to prepare for? Or are you just taking the approach that, you know, that, that game scheduled on Thursday is going to be going? I mean, yeah, ideally you're not uh, looking at this thing day by day. Uh, normally you can lay out, you know, the week or a trip um, or a homestand um, and kind of see what those days look like from a scheduling standpoint. Um, but again, it's, it's the way of the world right now. Um, you know, we're still playing in the National Hockey League, and that's that's never a bad day. Um, so we just, again, find a way to stick with it, and hopefully, you know, collectively players in the league can put something together where we don't have uh, too many more interruptions. Okay, great. Thanks, Tyler. We'll leave.